Sometimes a city will have a unique downtown feature or point of interest that, you know, sort of sets that city apart. Greenville, South Carolina has this suspension bridge over a waterfall, for example. Athens, Georgia has the famous Murmur Trestle. While Belton, South Carolina has this historic standpipe. Well, if a city could talk, Knoxville, Tennessee would say, hold my beer. Hey y'all, watch this. This is the Sun Sphere at World's Fair Park, something that sets downtown Knoxville apart. And yeah, you can ride your bike right up to the base of it. How cool is that? Knoxville proper has 18 miles of connected greenways, loaded with eclectic sights, fun features, and impressive waterways. And we're going to quickly tour a good bit of those 18 miles, coming up straight ahead on Joyful Trails. This is Knoxville, Tennessee. According to the interwebs, Knoxville, ha and I'm not sure about this, I'm not completely certain, but I'm just gonna go with it. Knoxville has exceeded the legal limit for nicknames. It is reportedly known as the Marble City, Heart of the Valley, Queen City of the Mountains, K-Town, Scruffy City, Gateway to the Smokies, and Knox Vegas. All right, Knoxville, don't be greedy, okay? That's too many nicknames. I'm gonna need you to pick just one or two, all right? Uh, my personal favorites would be K-Town and Scruffy City, but it's not up to me. The town was founded in 1791 by Revolutionary War soldier James White, and it was named for Henry Knox, a founding father, bookseller, military man and namesake for Fort Knox in Kentucky. By the way, at the tender age of 56, Henry Knox swallowed a chicken bone that got lodged in his throat and three days later he died. Sad but true. Early accounts of Knoxville described it as, quote, a rowdy river town with seven taverns and no churches. Knoxville was incorporated in 1815 and was the first capital of Tennessee. As with so many towns, the arrival of the railroad in 1855 led to an economic boom. Today, Knoxville is the county seat of Knox County. It's also home to the University of Tennessee. Although I, as an Alabama fan, promise to be on my best behavior throughout this video. The fact that the University of Tennessee is located in Knoxville, we're not gonna hold that against Knoxville. She sits on 104 square miles and is home to 190,740 volunteers. The Greater Knoxville Metropolitan Area is home to more than 879,000 people. The Tennessee Theater is a well-known movie palace in downtown K-Town. Built in 1928, the theater is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Famous people from Knoxville include film director Quentin Tarantino, Dave Thomas, founder of Wendy's, and Hee Haw's Archie Campbell. Knox Vegas has also been home to lots of musicians over the years, including Roy Acuff, Chet Atkins, Ashley Cleveland, and Kenny Chesney. But enough about Knoxville, we've got some trails to ride. I'm talking about the James White Greenway, the Second and Third Creek Greenways, the Knox Blunt Greenway, Volunteer Landing, and last but not least, the Neyland Greenway. We better get going. Hey, I 
heard you want to leave this place But we grew up this old town Just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids So we could see and hear the water run The river's gonna cry when you're gone gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're gone. See this sweet young lady? Ain't she precious? I don't know who she is, but she really wants you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and we would hate to disappoint her, right? So just go ahead and subscribe while you're thinking about it. Thanks. A visit to a favorite restaurant from my childhood. That is coming up here on Joyful Trails. But first, let's talk about these greenways. I awakened at the Comfort Inn and Suites where the hot breakfast was a pleasant way to start the day. Eggs, grits, and sausage. A free hotel breakfast doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Incidentally, I need to point out that I was in Knoxville in February, so the awesome fountains and pretty pools of water that one would normally see were not so awesome nor pretty. But if you were to visit during any other season of the year, this World's Fair Park would be a lot more inviting. I know because I've been there in the fall as well. As I mentioned earlier, the Sun Sphere has become almost an inanimate mascot for downtown Knoxville, drawing lots of visitors. Created for the 1982 World's Fair, it's a 266 foot tall steel truss structure topped with gold colored glass. They don't make them like this anymore, you know what I'm saying? The observation deck can hold 86 people. Heck, I should have gone up there. Anyway, 11 million people attended that 1982 World's Fair, and it is where the Rubik's Cube was first introduced. Back in the day, I could solve a Rubik's Cube quick as a flash. That's a skill that I have completely lost. <laughs> Today, there's no way. But thankfully, it's not something I'm called on to do very often. In fact, never. The Tennessee Amphitheater is pretty awesome. And yeah, you can ride your bike right through it. 
It'd be a great place to see a concert. It has hosted shows by groups as diverse as Widespread Panic, the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra, and Weezer. The band with the name that's just fun to say. Let's say it together. Weezer. Now, the three primary trails in downtown Knoxville are the Neyland and the Second Creek and Third Creek Greenways. Just follow the signs and enjoy the ride. At times, the Third Creek will look like this, like a bomb has gone off and you're in some third world country. Other times, it's really inviting, like this. But even when it's pretty, don't drink from it or swim in it. Check out this sign. Avoid bodily contact. This stream flunked bacteriological standards. Yikes. It is peaceful and soothing, however. On the day that I was there, the Tennessee River just didn't look that great. You see what I mean? I like my rivers to be blue or aqua. Water splashing around, you know, something like that. On this day, it just looks like barely moving muddy green water. But you know what? The views were still great. It's still a fun place to ride. They call this the Neyland Greenway, but it's really a river walk. And regular viewers to this channel know that I'm a sucker for a good river walk. On the Neyland, you will pass by a train called the Three Rivers Rambler. It's an excursion train that takes tourists on a 90 minute ride along the Tennessee River. By the way, real trains still pass through town on a regular basis. The Neyland also goes right by the University of Tennessee Gardens, which is free to the public. Again, I was there in the winter when blooms were few and far between, but it's still a lovely spot to stop and take in some sights and sounds, even in February. The Neyland Greenway also travels right beside a stadium that an Alabama fan once famously said looks like the site of a garbage truck workers convention. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. It was this guy. Alabama and Tennessee are historic rivals. The meeting of the two schools even has a name. It's called the third Saturday in October because, well, that's when it takes place. So yeah, I was reminded as I rode around the stadium that it's a heated rivalry. I was waiting at one intersection, waiting for the light to change, and a Tennessee fan rolled his car window down and said, hey, the light never changes for Alabama fans. I smiled and gave him a thumbs up. Since I was wearing Alabama gear, one cyclist said, you look like you're lost. I said, sir, I live half an hour from Clemson. You have no idea how lost I am. One car full of students rode by me and simply yelled out the window, you suck. <laughs> Which I gotta tell you, I thought it was great. The passion that this rivalry inspires is awesome. Okay, now back to your regularly scheduled bike trail review. The old metal bridges that come in contact with the Neyland are pretty cool. And it's the only trail I've ever seen so far with a Ruth Chris Steakhouse literally on the trail. The Joyful Trails star rating is coming up. Don't touch that dial. But first, before my day was done, I decided to visit a restaurant that I loved as a child. My parents took us to Shoney's many, many times on Victory Drive in Columbus, Georgia. I finally remember Big Boy, Dolly, and Nugget, as well as their signature hot fudge cake. Well, Shoney's fell on hard times, I think, but they're trying to make a comeback. So I decided to swing by there and, you know, see if we could rekindle the magic. We could not. I got an All-American Burger, the modern equivalent of a Shoney's Big Boy Burger, 
and I did get a hot fudge cake. And it's not that it was bad or that anything was wrong. It's just, I, I don't know. I guess when you have such good memories of a place as a kid, the modern new version is never gonna live up to that, you know? Maybe sometimes it's best to just leave those childhood memories undisturbed. So what do we think about these greenways? Why should you visit Knoxville and take your bike? Hey, there's tons of variety. There's lots of city sights and sounds as well as great views of the Tennessee River and some really impressive bridges. I was impressed, I have to admit. That sun sphere alone is worth a visit. Four stars for the greenways in Knox Vegas, Tennessee. In fact, I was so impressed with the Neyland Greenway that I've decided to do something that's gonna be hard for me to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And a lot of my Bama fan friends would try to talk me out of this if they could, but no, no, I've got my mind made up. I'm gonna do this out of respect for these trails in Knoxville. I'm gonna recite some song lyrics for you. A song that Tennessee fans find very special. Here we go. Wish that I was on old Rocky Top, down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on Rocky Top. Ain't no telephone bills. Once I had a girl on Rocky Top, half bear other half cat. Wild as a mink, but sweet as soda pop. I still dream about that. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top to... Forget it. I, I can't. I can't do this. I can't.